Hey you guys, what's up? So once again, we're having to do a catch up video because I am slacking for lack of a better word. Um, first things first, I got my first pair of glasses. Can you believe that? I am officially an adult. Um, so I have a very like slight astigmatism, but it makes so, uh, I see like, what do they call them? Like sunbursts around lights. And really, I just asked for them because she was like, well, it's not really necessary because it's so minute. But uh, for me, it just like especially helps with uh, reading at night and driving at night because it's like really distracting when you're driving and you have these sunbursts like coming at you. Um, kind of hard to tell like, where things are. But yeah, so that's the first thing in case you're wondering. I do. I can wear glasses now. It's very weird, um, but yeah, so where I've been, um, I haven't uploaded in like two weeks and I obviously, I've like blogged in like here and there. I mean, my lower playing, um, but. Anyway, um, yeah, so. I haven't uploaded in about two weeks and I haven't really vlogged much in the in that time. But really? Okay, so it was if you follow me on social media, you will have noticed that it was Penelope's birthday, because her birthday is August twelfth. Uh, um, and then it that was Friday this year. And then immediately just two days later, it's Ivy's birthday, and they're exactly Four years and two days apart and um, Ivy was actually due on Penelope's birthday but I didn't want to be induced with her so she kind of came naturally just two days later so um, it kind of makes things pretty hectic and then on top of everything we again if you guys follow me on here um, if you're like well versed with my stories and vlogs you'll know that I was planning on putting my oldest daughter, Penelope, who's in third grade this year, um, in virtual school. Well, things did not turn out the way I had planned with that. And um, we ended up having to kind of like change our plans completely and put Penelope... Thanks, buddy. What's up? Oh, okay. And we're talking. No, it's okay. It's just part of the iTunes album, Apple. No, nope, no, nope, we don't want to do that. Mommy, TV. Uh, 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 whoa. The song ready for you guys. Woo. Bye. Mama. Um, yeah. So we planned on putting her in virtual school. Things didn't work out. I was kind of, I kind of like accidentally dropped the ball on everything, and it made so. Uh, they didn't communicate with me. I, it didn't make so they didn't, they just weren't communicating with me. And I'm like a stickler for communication with like all aspects of my life, like my relationships, schooling, um, everything. I, I like communication. I like knowing like what's going on all the time and the virtual school, which was completely new to us. They didn't contact me at all. And they didn't tell me what was going on. They didn't tell me if I had all the forms in. So I was like, I, I can't do this. I can't do no communication, um, especially when it's our first like experience with virtual school. So Zach and I talked about it. Um, I asked my mom for some guidance on it because she knows more than me about the school and moving and military stuff. And we all kind of just came to the conclusion that if in Pen it would be for Penelope's best interest for her to go back to the school that she was going to in person. So it was really, really hectic. Um, I had to get in contact with her principal, which she's thankfully like super reachable, I guess would be the word. And uh, she ended up being like, hey, no worries. We'd love to have Penelope back. Um, but then there was like further and like she had been put on a class roster. And then after the meet the teacher, they took her off all the rosters. And I was like, what is happening? And then it was like, right after school started two days later it's Penelope's birthday 
So it was like, there was so much to do um, because I had gotten everything prepared for virtual learning. And then we, it was literally that week. It was like the Thursday before the week that school started. I was like, okay, we gotta, we gotta switch because I have no idea what's going on. And so, we have to check the mail. Yeah, we gotta check the mail. Okay. I have my keys out and Ma and I don't have, Ma have them so you can use mine. Okay, thank you. Um, so we had to go back to school shopping really late notice. Um, to get everything on the school supplies list, uh, we had to get new back to school clothes, which I wasn't planning on doing because if you guys know, I've been shopping for like winter clothes back to school-ish. And so I had to get new, cause I'm a, I mean, I could send Penelope back to school in like her old clothes, but they don't all fit as well. They're kind of faded. I want her to be able to put her best foot forward at the beginning of the school year. Um, and yeah, I just, there was so much to do, so much to do. And then, yep, I had to get decorations for Penelope's birthday. I had to like plan a birthday for her because we had been trying to book something in Anna Maria Island for the kids' birthdays and it just didn't go as planned. Um, it was really expensive, so I had to kind of do like a 360 and figure something else out and um, had to get the cakes and plan all that for the kids' birthdays. I don't do like birthday parties, especially once COVID started. I didn't really care for them beforehand. It just kind of like solidified it that I'm like, yeah, I don't really need to do a big birthday party. But um, I still wanted to do something like special for their birthdays. And so it just kind of, it was just really, a really, really busy week. Oh, and then I had my friend come visit. Um, she had been my best friend in Heidelberg back when we were in 10th grade, when I first moved there, <laughs> first moved to Germany. She was my best friend. And then I moved to Ramstein less than a year later, but we kept up our, we like maintained a friendship and then we both moved to Hawaii at the same time to go to college. And, um, it's just, we've known each other all along. She is a, or she was an EMS in, um, Seattle, Washington and now she's going to school to be um, a genetic researcher or genetic analyst something like that she correct me on here <laughs> but um yeah so then she came to visit so it has been <laughs> so crazy and i feel bad because i really like put um youtube on the back burner but it's i was trying to like i went through this big like mental thing or um I was trying to figure out because I felt like really unfulfilled, right, with uh, what I'm doing. Like this is a hobby. This isn't. I don't make any money from it. Would that be the uh, like a good perk of it and like a goal to go to strive towards? Yes, absolutely. But it's not what I'm currently doing with it. So it's more of just like a creative outlet for me. But before I even started my YouTube, I had my Instagram. But um. I kind of, I've had to change directions on that because I started out kind of like as a theme park Instagram and that is not, I'm not able to keep up with that um, now because like we don't have universal annual passes anymore. Um, I don't have Disney annual passes. Like do we have vacations coming up? Yes. But like I just, I can't maintain that Instagram and I feel like I'm not getting like a good, um, grasp on like having a lifestyle family Instagram so it's really it's yeah it's been a weird time for me I just don't feel like fulfilled on anything so the what I feel most fulfilled on is YouTube because it gives me more of like I'm not just trying to get likes I'm not just trying to get followers I have this more like creative outlet and I think I'm more I'm more of a creative person than an analytical person I love logic of course who doesn't? But I've always loved like creative and artistic expressions and I've I've always really loved expressing myself like that. So when I edit videos, I know I'm not super creative compared to what you see out there. But I do enjoy editing, right? It's I enjoy sitting down, compiling everything, like filming finding different ways to film, finding like different edits to put in like different layers so I I feel like I'm gonna take a little bit of a step back from social media 
and I'm going to start putting more focus on YouTube, which is really hard because it's really hard to build a following on YouTube these days. Like everybody, our attention spans are getting like shorter and shorter and shorter and shorter. And so that's why like reels are so popular right now on Instagram. That's why TikTok is so popular because it's like we can only like digest like 30 seconds, right? <laughs> like 30 seconds to a minute. And then that's all that people want. And YouTube is more of like the long game. Like it's actually taking a personal interest in somebody as opposed to just like seeing them dance for you or seeing them talk for like 20 seconds. So um, instead of kind of feeling like all spread out, um, I'm, I'm gonna once again just focus on YouTube. So I really appreciate you guys sitting down and like watching these videos with me. Or if you do what I do and you kind of put YouTube on for like background noise, like comfort, um, I appreciate that too and I'm always here for you guys. So yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to try to upload more. I was trying to do just like one, one time a week. And obviously I was like struggling even with that, but I think I need more like of a rigid YouTube schedule. So I'm going to go probably now to posting twice a week that way I give myself enough time to like get back into editing and whatnot. So you're not just getting like super sloppy videos, even though I do like the raw videos, right? I like seeing like real life unedited especially for like sit down videos I don't want to see like constantly like, zooming up of the face like that's not really my style that's not what I look for in videos so I don't try to appease the masses you hear the dogs barking outside obviously um, I I'm trying to film what I would want to watch and I know there's women men people out there that are gonna want to see that too that appreciate that too but um, also I figured I'd throw a little catch up for our move to Germany here. It's still planned. We're waiting on our or our hard copy orders to be cut, meaning like we already have soft orders. They're in the system that we're moving to Germany, but they have to go through and like edit them and make sure they say all the right things. And it's just like, it's a whole process and it's, they kind of aren't great at it at McDill, I guess. Like, Anyway, um, yeah, so we're waiting on those, but Zach has now filled out and got notarized all the paperwork we need for our no-fee passports, which are passports that will say we get to live in Germany, um, that we're allowed to live in Germany, like, without a visa, like, on military orders, and um, our tourist passports. We have to apply to those, too, which I found out my passport is still good until 2025, so... I'm so excited that I don't have to pay $135 for my tourist passport. I'm good to go. But my three children and my husband all need tourist passports because Zach is deployed, but he didn't need a tourist passport for this last one. He needed a diplomatic passport. So he has that, but he's, he's, he's still gonna, he's still gonna need a tourist passport for us to like travel in Europe, which we're obviously gonna do because we love traveling. Um, but I think that's it for now. I think that's a good update for you guys. Like, I, I, I'm happy to be back. I keep doing these update videos and I feel so bad for you guys because I have subscribers reaching out going, what's been going on? Where are you? Is everything okay? And I'm like, yep, I'm just so busy and like burnt out. Oh my gosh, that was something else. Ivy got sick or, or had like really bad indigestion. And so that was a whole thing too, but um, yeah. That's it for now. I'm going to go to Trader Joe's and I will see you guys in the next one.